We are at a time when fake news has itself become fake news. So it's never been more important to educate yourself because the kind of understanding that's going to get us through all of this is going to have to come from you. I'm Paul Krugman, and this is my masterclass. Do you even Fred, bro? Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. It's Lewis P. here. Today, what we're going to be talking about is the Paul Krugman Teaches Economics and Society Masterclass. Today, what we're going to be doing is doing an overview of the actual class itself. We're going to take you into the class, look at the workbooks, look at every single lesson, and give you a very brief description on everyone, and ultimately figure out which one is better for you. And as always, guys, I have a link in the description, which will get you the masterclass for $90. So I got you back there. Let's rock and roll. So who exactly is Paul Krugman? He's a writer at the New York Times, and he also teaches at NYU. University, which is pretty cool. He's invented a lot of different things, especially like the new trade theory when it comes to economics. So he's definitely very adequate and very prestige in his economics field. He talks about economics and society and how they mesh together in order to form what we currently have, our current zeitgeist, if you will. So the masterclass consists of 22 lessons, which is great. He's never actually done anything like this before. So it's super exclusive. As always, you can grab the link in the description. So I've got you back there. That's fine. And then what he talks about is ultimately thinking like an economist. So economics is not just a set of answers. It's a way of understanding the world, ultimately a way of thinking about things and how society works and how our economy works. In his masterclass, Paul teaches you the economic principles that shape political and social issues, like access to healthcare, which if you're in America, that'll definitely be relevant to you. A tax debate, whether or not people should be paying it. Everyone hates taxes. And he will give you an interesting side of how important taxes are. He'll talk about globalization and political polarization and heighten your ability to read between the lines and decipher exactly the underlying and economics at play whenever you read something or hear something. So he'll definitely teach you a way to think of things. Of course, 22 Lessons. There's also a class workbook. It's downloadable. We'll take you into that. We'll show you exactly what it's like. It's pretty cool. And then the big one is office hours whereby you can actually ask him a question and he may respond. So it's pretty powerful in that light. Of course, there's a lesson plan which we will go through as soon as we go into the actual masterclass itself. Otherwise, of course, you can watch it on your mobile and all those things. It's available 24 or seven. You can watch it whenever you want and let's jump right into it now. So this is what the Paul Krugman masterclass looks like as soon as you invest in yourself and you actually get something like this. So let's break it down. Of course, you have a search function. If you have the all access masterclass, you can actually search the types of things that you want to learn, whether that's science and technology. So you can learn about NASA. You can learn about how to write properly. You can music and entertainment. So like the Armin Van Buren or the Dead Mouse masterclass or Christina Aguilera masterclass. So it's very, there's a lot of, there's a lot of range if you end up getting the all access class of there's playlists whereby you can actually combine different masterclasses together and you can build like courses of your own using the best of the best teachers, which is pretty cool. My classes, which is fantastic. Of course, you, if you have the all access, you basically have access to everything that masterclass will ever produce, which is great. Extensions, I don't even know what that is yet. It's a new button. And then you have the introduction, of course. And if you want to get started, just press the big red button, start lesson and voila. Of course, there is a download workbook. We'll get that now. So I will download that. And then of course, there is the lesson plan. There is the community, the community is actually a group and this is a really powerful thing about masterclass i won't actually log into this it's the same as your other stuff but i don't want to discredit the people that actually purchase but the community is really cool because you get to communicate with other students and see what they're learning their findings from the actual masterclass itself really cool resources is basically the workbook and office hours of course we've already alluded to where you can ask paul krugman a question and he may respond to it i actually asked him a question the other day and this is exactly what the workbook looks like it's very high quality 80 pages worth which is great i'm only going to take you through like the first two pages and you can see already it's very very high and it's very very schmick which is great so let's break down every class briefly and discuss is it worth it for you in the long run so the introduction obviously starts with an introduction of who paul krugman is you know nobel prize winning economist he's invented come up with these amazing theories that have ultimately helped society and our world into a very very high degree so he's definitely one of the best economists on the planet right now especially when he's talking to the president paul will cover many of the issues you see in the headlines every day and provide you the tools to help you make sense of everything. And that's what it's all about, right? It's about digesting and filtering out everything that you're listening to, reading and watching, and then being able to really comprehend it properly and then making important decisions for your life. So in saying that, it's actually worth it for a lot of different people. It's worth it for the average Joe to get this class because everyone needs a basic understanding of how economics work, especially for those that are under the age of 35. 
Because if you're under the age of 35, you really haven't lived through the age of 08 and really felt that pain of how difficult it was to obtain funding, to get a job and all of these things. There weren't that many entrepreneurs back then. You know, you had to have a job in an enterprise or something to that effect. So it's very, very important that I actually recommend it to every single person that's under the age of 35 that hasn't actually experienced what it was like in 08 and doesn't probably have a, a strong understanding of economics. Because ultimately, when you invest in this class, you're really investing in yourself and your decision-making processes when it comes to, you know, whether you're buying a house, whether you're looking at how the economy is working or how you're looking at how society is functioning relative to how economy functions. So it's really, really important for those that are um, under 35 years old. I highly recommend this class. Moving on, what is economics? So this is perfect for the newbie, right? Someone that doesn't understand economics. I personally studied economics when I was at university for a few courses. I did macro and microeconomics, part of the commerce degree, and I have a very solid foundation. And this is a fantastic fantastic introduction to economics and what it's about. And ultimately what it's about is about people. So this was a very good lesson. The two fundamental principles of economics. So the first one is people respond to incentives. And that goes back to the age old Adam Smith. He talks about basically when there is an incentive for people to do something, they will eventually do it. The market will respond. And then of course, every transaction has an equal give and take. So every buy is technically a sell at the same time. Very, very important to understand these basic principles. Then he talks about the history of economics where it's come all the way from the 1700s to what it is today. And 08 is a perfect example of us learning from history and what not to do during that period. And we'll discuss that later on once we get to 06. Then understanding macroeconomics, aka the macro world, how the Federal Reserve works to keep the economy healthy. Of course, it's a private entity. And the reason it's a private entity is because government in general acts very slow, like in Australia, for example. I mean, to get something over the line, it could take months where it could take a private institution like a week to get over the line because that's just how private and government really works. Then he talks about how 08 happened. And of course, I've already alluded to this, but this is such an important one because it's about learning from past mistakes. For example, back in the Great Depression, what the economists and the politicians ended up doing is saying, hey, let the market sort itself out. In 08, they said, okay, we know what happened during the Great Depression. Let's reverse that and actually take some action in order to lighten this as much as we can. And they did accomplish that by doing certain things, which he talks about, which is great. But overall, he talks talks about how 08 happened, which was a very big recession globally, and ultimately how to prepare yourself as an individual or a participant in society for when these things happen. And I guarantee you guys, it will happen again eventually because they always do. This is why I can't stress this lesson enough. If anything, get the class just for this lesson because it's very, very important. And then he breaks it down, right? So you can kind of see a process here. It's like, okay, this is what happened during a recession, which was 08, of course. And then this is the theory behind how it actually works. And he takes you through some really cool websites. For example, he looks at Fred. Do you even Fred, bro? <laughs> Which is a really, really cool saying that they have in the economics world because Fred is basically a website where a lot of information that you acquire as an economist to work things out. Looks at inflation rates, looks at the effect on inflation rates based on purchasing power, the average cost of items, very, very powerful stuff. And then he ultimately looks at the conclusions. What are the solutions to face these crises? Very, very good. Inequality. Now, if you're interested in inequality and really getting a proper perspective on this and understanding how it all works from, you know, growing up as a boomer versus growing up as a millennial, very, very powerful, it goes through every single time frame since the Great Depression and, and how it's like expanded and then just blown up, which it is today, which is very interesting. Tenney's actually really good and he expands on this a bit more. He, he looks at the social and cultural costs of what inequality really does to us and the way to advocate for a more equal society. So this is very good for the, you advocates out there. So if you're all for equal pay and an equal society and all of those things, you know, universal basic income, you get a lot of value from this lesson for sure. Then understanding taxes. Understanding taxes is pretty important. And I didn't really want to watch this video, but I knew that I better, hence the tick. The tick indicates that you've actually watched it. I, I hate taxes personally. I think they're a joke. They're like, especially for small business people um, because we want to grow and taxes just like take as much as they can. Paul Krugman really puts it into perspective and, and really emphasizes how important it really is. Um, not just for America, but globally and how tax, what is the consequence of a tax cut? What is the consequence of a tax increase? Where does the funding go? He makes me not feel as bad about taxes, which is actually enough to justify the cost of this entire masterclass. Of course, I got a link in the description, check it out. And then 
the economics of technical progress. So what exactly and how exactly is technology enabling society to enhance itself? How are we moving from a manufacturing world to a service world? Very, very powerful. Love that one. Healthcare. Healthcare is very relevant in America. However, in like Europe and a lot of European countries, I think it's in Canada as well, uh, especially Australia, where our healthcare is pretty on point. We're pretty good. Like we'll go to the doctor, we'll spend three five dollars to visit the doctor and like ten dollars to actually get the medicine. And like overnight, care is basically free in hospitals over here so i'm not really too sure about these the healthcare problem in america or the solutions um he did discuss it i kind of skipped through this pretty fast so honestly if you're into the whole healthcare and what it is in america and then you want to look at this potential solutions it should be okay but of course he uses the examples of the uk canada switzerland i'm in australia so it's fine then we look at the theories of trade and this is where he won his nobel prize this is his big idea and he talks about it for 13 minutes and listening to this of of course you can google this and you can wiki it but hearing it from the horse's mouth is a different animal it really is so this is really powerful you know his theory of trade and this is what made him win the nobel prize for economics understanding the hyper globalization world and this is very powerful because the next lesson is of course china and as we all know china is definitely not at a deficit when it comes to their exports they're exporting to the entire universe the entire planet and these guys are an absolute machine but of course there are a lot of consequences and political consequences as a result of that of course they have the great firewall they have so many different things that impact their growth but also that facilitate their growth at the same time so this is very impactful this one goes for 15 minutes so it's quite nice then he talks about economics and geography so basically how exactly do regions for example as soon as the advent of air conditioning came about there were certain regions in america that were just too hot to work in however as soon as air conditioning was invented these regions started to become more popular because air conditioning works and it's a thing it's interesting to see how different products can enable different areas in the world to become more productive. And he talks about things like that. Pretty cool. And then reading economics. Of course, he works at the New York Times. He's a writer at the New York Times. So this guy knows how to write, but he also knows how to actually read. He talks about deciphering different articles, what you need to look out for, what to look out for in the writing itself, how to be skeptical, how to spot facts. For example, if you're reading the New York Times or you're reading any article from any place, and this article states the GDP, but they reference another article, then you know that that ride is probably not with it 100% because GDP statistics are literally on government websites. You don't need to reference another article to get GDP results. So things like that, cool little hacks that really enable you to see through the lines. And then of course, seeing the world like Paul Krugman, AKA seeing the world like an economist. And these guys, as much as, you know, these guys are in suits and all those things, these guys do definitely know how to think critically and they learn from others. They have methodologies in place that ultimately work we allow them to earn the big bucks but really it's about seeing the world and thinking about the world like an economist very good lesson that one and writing economics now this probably won't apply to many of you guys because most of you guys i assume i'm probably not writing economics unless you're actually in the world of economics in terms of being at university being a postgrad or an undergrad maybe the slight chance that you're writing an article for a business or you're in marketing and you need to write blogs on economics based on seo keywords or something like that whatever it is the point is you probably won't use this um, because you're probably not going to be writing e economics because this is more so of about how to actually view the world from an economist perspective but hey if you want to learn how to write it properly from Paul Krugman himself this is definitely the lesson and then of course the closing Paul eventually ends the class by giving advice to aspiring activists policy makers heck even economic students those who wish to become more involved citizens you know participants in our society he says remember to stay aware to read to listen to watch of course and to remain an active participant in society whether that's by voting or just helping out as much as you can and that is the masterclass in a nutshell and as always guys i have a link in the description which will get you the masterclass for 90 dollars. so i got you back there so is the paul krugman masterclass worth it for you i hope you figured it out and you've answered this question yourself by watching the overview lesson and by that time you probably already clicked the link in the description the way i see it is if you're an absolute beginner if you want to know more about society and economics this class will help you out a lot just from the way you think and it will actually save you in my opinion a lot of money from a perspective of how to view taxes how to actually respond to a massive crash which i think is going to happen very soon how to think about the crashes and how to really look at what are the consequences of these crashes to the standard joe aka us so it's very very good in that sense so yes if you're a beginner definitely if you're interested you need to be interested to begin with and i'm assuming if you're this far into the video you're pretty interested so well played there so yes if you're a beginner definitely look at this class if you're under the age of 35 highly recommend this just from the perspective of this lesson 
what how O8 happened. This is crucial for anyone that's under 35 years old, 100% recommend it. Now, if you're a post-grad economist or somebody that's like in their third year of university, only real value you'll probably get from this masterclass is writing economics. Otherwise, it's probably not that value for you. You're gonna know all of this stuff. It's very simple. This isn't made for the PhD economist. This is made for the general public in order to help them succeed in their world. It's how to view society in a critical light. So thank you so much for watching this masterclass. If you liked the video, please give it a like comment below what you thought of this video and also if you ended up taking the masterclass let me know what you think of course use the community inside masterclass these guys are awesome they're a fun bunch of people and they're all very positive and active and they really want to help everyone out so definitely use that community but also let me know in the, in the comment section below what you thought of it it helps me out a lot thank you so much for watching lewis p out